third in populations that have experienced things like strokes, traumatic brain injury, even some cervical surgeries, anything that would negatively or could negatively impact our swallowing, that's called dysphagia. Although we're trained to see different signs and symptoms that a patient might be having that lets us know mm, maybe they're not swallowing as well as we think they are, we really need to be able to visualize and see the insides of what is actually happening. We have a tool that's called fiber optic endoscopic evaluation of the swallow. We abbreviate that as FEES. FEES is really endoscopy and it's a short scope that we insert via the nose and we go through the nose because the patient's mouth has to be available to eat and drink. We will insert the scope with the patient and then we'll have a setup of a few different things to eat and drink and it allows us to visualize where is this food going, where is this liquid going, making sure it's not going into the airway, it's going to our esophagus where we want it to go, where it will lead to our stomach um, and that will let us know the patient is safe. The risks are if food or liquid are going towards the airway, this patient is at a higher risk of getting an infection. Especially early on in their recovery when they're with us, we want to make sure there's nothing additional happening that's going to regress their progress. Dysphagia therapy is one of my favorite therapies um, to give because it is so rewarding. The goal is always to get the patient eating and drinking the food and the drinks that they love. And so it can be very disheartening to somebody when they can't do that. So taking them through this process and eventually getting them to their goal, it means that they can eat whatever they want. Eating is so much more than just nutrition. It's quality of life, it's social. There's so many things that come into just having a meal. It's very important for us to get patients back to eating and drinking the things they love.